In this video, we're going to create the thank you page for your list building funnel. And a lot of people just write thank you on the thank you page and that's it. But that's a missed opportunity. We want to provide more ways for you to increase engagement on this thank you page. And this is how you can build a funnel that built that grows with you as you grow and as your business grows. So don't miss this opportunity. This is a demo of what that page is going to look like. The first section is the header. In this case, we're just including, it's called a hello bar and no navigation menu because we have a, a message for them. We're saying to them, wait, we're not done yet. And it says here, one more step. Don't forget. This is all because we are setting this um, the form up to be double opt-in. And so that what that means is that after somebody submits the form, they have to actually open up their email and they'll have a um, an email asking them to confirm that they want to be on your list. So we strongly recommend double opt-in. Uh, I've, I've set this page up assuming that we're doing double opt-in because that is what we recommend for everyone. Um, having that second confirmation, like not only did they submit the form, but then they confirmed, makes it pretty irrefutable that they, they want to be on your list. And it's just going to make for a much healthier email list for you and a better sender reputation. So anyway, that's the reason that we did all that. So what we do here, we add this hello bar up at the top with this message and we're using this, this mauve color, one of our brighter brand colors, to draw their attention to that. Then in this section, we again, we have this reminder. Uh, I use a little post-it note graphic um, reminding them to confirm their email address. Um, we're going to include a support email with uh, hyperlinked so that um, they can just open up a, a compose email box quick, like directly from that page. And these are just, these are all steps to make sure that people actually confirm their email address and get on your, um, your email list. So this, because it's not a real email address, it's not hyperlinked, but it would be on the, on the live page. And so then down here, you would need to update this copy. Here's some things that you can do with it. Just a reminder, like, here's why it's so great. So please, please go to your email inbox, confirm, and then get that, that email and open up the attachment. Next, we have this section, a direct camera video. Um, you can add a, a video here, um, just introducing yourself to the person or the, the new subscriber. Um, so you would, if you want to include this section, you would need to create that video and then you would need to update the copy here uh, just to remind them of, you know, get started on this journey towards whatever it is that they're learning here. Next, we're giving them more ways to stay involved because this is this new subscriber, this new person in your world. This is when they're really excited to learn more about you and your content. So we want to keep that engagement going. So on this first row, I have whatever your, your content marketing um, platforms are. If you have a podcast, a blog, or um, if you have a, a private community, then you would add those links here. And I like to color coordinate like the graphic here with the call to action button here. And then down here, the next two rows are all your social media platforms. So whichever ones you're active on, we'll include links to here. Um, six is too many. Like I wouldn't do this on a, on a real page. These are all just placeholder, um, placeholder blocks to remind you if you're like, oh yeah, I do have a LinkedIn account or whatever. Um, so we, we only want to include, I mean, I would include probably maybe three, um, but just include the platforms that you're active on because it, it just looks weird. If somebody like goes to your Twitter account and you haven't posted or tweeted in a year, um, you will also have to update the, um, the copy here. 
like this. Follow me on TikTok for lots of hot dance moves. Like that's, that's probably, that probably doesn't apply to you. So you will have to, these are all just placeholder texts here. And then finally down here is your footer. And, um, and again, we're going to include links to your legal pages because that is required. And we are not including our social media links on this page or in this footer because we have them up here. So it's, it's just redundant. That's why we don't include them here. So that is it for your thank you page. So in that example that I just showed you, I only presented on the thank you page links to content marketing platforms and your social media channels. Because at the beginning, when you're first getting started, most likely those will be the only things that you really have to present on the thank you page. But as you grow and as your business grows, you'll present other offers on that thank you page like a webinar registration or a low ticket offer or an invitation to be a, um, a founding member of your signature course. And this is what I call dynamic funnels. So it's a funnel that grows with you. It's got the same starting point, this amazing lead magnet, but then it can evolve as you grow and as your business grows. So in this series of videos, we created a list building funnel. And now you're probably wondering like, what do I do with it? How do I get people to, to see it? In the next few videos, I'm going to show you how to drive traffic to your list building funnel using content marketing and social media. So stick around for those videos. Now that you've got a list building funnel, we need traffic. I'll show you how to do that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.